Hey, welcome back. You are listening to Ultimate Affiliate Marketing. I am your host, as always, is Paul Motley here. And today is a really special episode. And it's episode 100, which means this is the obviously the 100th episode of the podcast, which is crazy. So I just wanted to take some time to reflect on you know, the reasons why I've been doing this podcast, some of the highlights and uh, the low points and all that sort of crazy stuff. So as you may know, if you're a regular listener, then I do these podcasts every day now. And it started out really um, with doing interviews. And that was the whole idea. Um, I invested in and started looking into getting some podcast done uh, through a guy called Parker Woodward, who is amazing at uh, helping people get set up. Um, Also started listening to some of Pat Flynn's stuff about podcasts and the tech side of things and, you know, eventually got to a point where I was able to launch a podcast and um, get it out there. But the whole idea initially was just to do maybe one a week or, or one every two weeks and, you know, try and find people and interesting guests to bring as much value to you guys as possible because I wanted a platform that was completely different from what I'd done before. Um, You know, everyone can do, like, organic stuff on Facebook. They can do uh, YouTube videos. They can have a Facebook group. They can build an email list. You can um, have a blog and all that stuff. But the one thing that I'd never tried before was a podcast, and I have listened to quite a few podcasts myself in the past and got really engaged in them. So I thought, do you know what? I'm guessing that people really do like this stuff and, you know, maybe it's something I should look into. So the point of it was to try and deliver as much value without asking anything in return. That was that was the whole premise of it because I just wanted to give back. I've been reasonably successful in a lot of things that I've done. Um, not everything that I've done because, you know, that would be crazy and, you know, had some real up and downs. But this is going to be really just like fall back and see exactly, you know, what's happened over the last, gosh, uh, eight, nine months or so um, doing this podcast. So the, when you actually do a podcast, you've got to have three episodes to upload in the first place to get it onto Apple iTunes because they won't let you just do like one episode because otherwise they get unindated with people. So I did it and um, it happened to be a time where I think they were – whether they were doing updates or they were short on numbers or they had a bit of conference or whatever it was, I had to wait like almost two weeks before my submission to Apple Podcast was live. And it was a crazy time because I was desperate for this to get out there and, you know, really wanted to start doing it. And, you know, I just had to sit and wait and refresh it every day, you know, waiting to see if this came out. And at the time I wanted to do this, all this big launch about, you know, yes, this is the day the podcast is live, but it was really difficult to do that because I just didn't know when Apple were actually going to have it live. So it was a strange one. But, you know, I've got some guests together to start with. And, you know, the very first episode was a good friend of mine, Kevin Stephen. And just looking at the stats now, it's still the most listened to um, episode. And I'm sure he'd be really pleased about that. And in fact, Kevin came back on the podcast a little while ago again. So, you know, he's, he's one of the few people which have come on twice, which is awesome. Then in episode two, um, I got to speak to James Hurst. Now, James Hurst is a ClickFunnels Dream Card winner, which, um, for those of you who don't know, is software as a service, and you can resell their software, and if you get over 100 um, sales and accounts and maintain that, ClickFunnels are going to um, pay you a recurring commission, but also they give you an extra $500 a month bonus towards a car. So James Hurst has done that, and I wanted to talk to him about his route and how he got there and you know, hopefully to help people with that. Next on the list was a guy called David Dang, who um, I haven't checked his stats recently, but he had over a million followers on Instagram and had just started monetizing it with affiliate marketing. So I wanted to kind of like see, you know, how he was doing it and hopefully people got some value from it. Episode four was a guy called Blake Newbar. Now, at the time... Um, Blake had just done this amazing launch. Um, it, it got a massive amount of people into a Facebook group. And what it did was actually started showing people how to use their Facebook profiles for, you know, getting organic traffic to their lead magnets or making sales and stuff like that. And he did it in an incredible way. He actually only charged a dollar. And then he had a bunch of people 
sort of like helping him build the group as well, trying to gain momentum from their audiences, which was super cool because he ended up giving everything away that he earned from that dollar sale to charity, which was, which was great. So we had him on. Um, and if we skip forward a few, um, I was even lucky enough to interview um, Dean Graziosi on episodes nine and ten. I split it up into two episodes there. Um, but yeah, it hasn't been all plain sailing. I mean... I remember some of the time when I was doing recordings, I was living out in Spain and, you know, the, the power was a bit dodgy. And I remember doing one interview, it was like 40 minutes into it and we had a massive power cut and everything went down. My laptop completely switched off and it wasn't just the lights in, in the villa, it was the power sockets. And then I went outside and it was the street lights, everyone else's lights were off and that happened for about 20 minutes, half an hour. And I just thought, oh man... Now I've got to try and get hold of this guy again. And and it was just terrible. Um, but for some reason, I was using Zoom at the time to do the recording. So I was doing it on video as well. And Zoom saved it. And I was like, yes, I've still got it. This is amazing. Uh, I managed to get back in touch with the guy. Once the power came back on and we finished off and it was great. Um, the Dean Graziosi one, that really was... Uh, a high and a low point because I was super excited but a little bit nervous and when I first started opening the show um, to, after I hit record I called him Dean Grazioski uh, which was a complete slip of the tongue and after about four seconds he just butted in he went Paul can we start again? You said Grazioski it's Graziosi and literally the, the colour drained from me and I felt like two inches tall uh, and you know, and it, and it was it was terrible. But somehow I kept it together, and we, and we got the interview out. So that was cool. Um, but fast forward to you know that was back in February, and then I decided to put something else on uh, on the second of May. Uh, um, just really the soundtrack to talking about how to rank YouTube videos and um, you know help affiliate marketing that way. But then something amazing happened because. Um, Russell Brunson, uh, co-creator of uh, ClickFunnels, actually released his new book, which was Traffic Secrets. And I was reading through that and reading about how to get traffic to offers and all this sort of good stuff. And there was one mention in there because he's he's done a podcast himself for a very long time now. And, and he, he mentioned, it was this one sentence. If you can publish a podcast every day for a year, you'll never have to worry about money again. And I just thought, Wow. That's pretty powerful. So on the 2nd of May, um, no, sorry, my mistake, it was the 27th of May, I recorded the first daily episode. And I've been doing them ever since then. Um, still managed to get some guests coming along. So that's been really, really cool. Um, had some amazing guests. Um, I managed to get Parker Woodward on, um, you know, the guy who's responsible for this podcast being there, Evans Putman, again, an amazing podcaster, and and um, sp managed to speak to Jacob Karras, um, who specialises in high, um, high ticket affiliate marketing. And he actually has his own course now as well, which is great. Honestly, it really is super. But I found that, um, you know, I started by being able to make some contacts um, I'd, I'd done work with Spencer Meekin before he came on and, you know, it was great to have him on there as well. Um, even spoke to Greg Jeffries, had Blake Newbar back on again and just kept going with it. And just every day, it was just like finding something else to talk about. Um, another guy I was a really fanboy with was uh, Mike Cooch. You know, I've listened to his stuff and seen his stuff for years. So getting him on was great. And and what was really mental was that the... The podcast started growing um, and the numbers started really coming up and it was crazy just looking at it. I mean, s suddenly I'd hit like 5,000 downloads, which for me was incredible. Um, I mean, even now we've just passed by um, over 6,500. I think it's like 6,700 and change, whatever it is. And it still completely baffles me now how this has happened and how I've been able to keep going with it. And it's really good because... Um, you know, I spoke to a few of the people and, as, um, you know, occasionally I got messages from people saying, hey, you know, I started a podcast because I was listening to yours or, you know, I listen to yours every day. And, you know, that's that's really cool. <laughs> you know, you just think, oh, man, I'm just like, you know, <clears throat> 
helping inspire people, I guess. And that's, that's a really cool feeling. Um, another highlight was Brian Delaney as well. Just an absolute legend of affiliate marketing and getting him on the show was, you know, it, it took a while. Um, we had some scheduling issues, but we got there eventually. That was incredible. Um, more recently, um, had a guy called Scott Moran, who was a co-creator of Samcart as well. He came on a couple of days back. And um, yeah, so the guests are still flowing and, you know, the interest is still picking up. I'm really happy that it's working out the way that I'd hoped and people are getting value from it. Um, this week is going to be no different. Um, tomorrow I'm talking to um, a guy called Wilco Decry, who's a creator of UpViral and Connect.io. So make sure that you do hit subscribe because you don't want to miss that one in particular because that is talking about his journey with Facebook ads and how he helps people get a massive return on investment using some techniques that uh, not a lot of people know about. So that's really cool. And yeah, so that was kind of like a reflective um, episode or, or recording or whatever we're doing just based on the experiences that I've had with the podcast, uh, some of the feedback that I've had from it, which is, to be fair, it's been all positive, so that's cool. And I just want to keep going for you guys now. I just want to keep pushing forward, just trying to stick to that one a day and giving you guys as much value as possible. So I appreciate you guys listening to me. And uh, yeah, we look forward to another week.